welcome to I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a choreography YouTuber and I do a lot of colorful makeup and if you're not subscribed Jesus, if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I think we just hop into the video for today and today I want to do a throwback video I love to see like people talking about purchases that they have done like two years ago and like roast themselves I was thinking of doing that but I shop makeup from so many different like I buy some from Sephora, some from other beauty stores here in Sweden and from indie brands I bought, buy from different sites and from Beauty Bay and like I I don't know how to do it I like don't know how to find all the purchases and uh, so I am going instead I have gone into my older favorite videos when it comes to eyeshadows and I'm going to talk about the palettes that I had as favorites and I hope that you will like this so I'm going to start with the first yearly favorites I did when I spoke English on my channel and that was three years ago. It's almost six palettes I'm going to talk about that I had as favorites as on in 2018 and we will see what I think about them now. I will leave the video up here. Just remember it was three years ago. <laughs> but yeah, I think we just hop into this and if you want to see more of these, please let me know and I will do one for each year so it isn't going to be that many. But. <laughs> I just want to do some throwback. So the first one is actually not like a typical palette because it's singles but I bought these as a palette. I only have had them like together so I'm taking this palette and I think I said kind of the same thing three years ago but it's the Nabla Matte Collection and I think these were some of the... I almost dropped it. But yeah I think this was the first like put together palette with the singles that Nabla has done. Maybe they only have done this. This was the matte collection and these were all new shades that you could buy in this feather empty palette. So this was like collection. I think they released some other things together with this collection. I don't remember but I only bought these ones. And I still do like these, but it's nothing that I use that much. This is more cold tone colors and that is not my favorite as you may know. I really like this color and this color. The other ones, they are good. I like Nabla single shadows as well. I love their palettes and I really like their singles as well. But it's nothing like... I'm not thinking about this and think that I want to use it. I have used it sometimes and like the black is really good and I've duping some melt palettes and I've used this so I still like it but I liked it so much more three years ago and I used it so much more three years ago and now I barely use it I like this is not something that I want to do a video on or with <laughs> and it's nothing that I want to use like outside of YouTube but I still really do like the shadows but it's I don't know it's not my it's my thing anymore and the next palette <laughs> that I talked about I really do love this still but I like barely use it anymore and I talked in that video because I watched the video before before this because I can't remember which palette I talked about three years ago and I said then that I use this more as a face palette and like nowadays I only use it as a face palette and it's the Infinity palette from Linda Holberg or LH Cosmetics. It is so much more used now than it was three years ago. <laughs> I've hit the pan in this Milky Way. Can you see it? Yeah. And uh, this cigar is almost empty. And this cigar I've used for my brows. I loved it for my brows. I love it as an eyeshadow, so I was like, okay, maybe I want to save it as an eyeshadow, but I don't know, maybe I should just use it up for my brows. And uh, yeah, not that much more has happened, it's a little bit more of a dip in uh, these two that I use as a blush, I don't know if you can see, but yeah, the pan in this one, and this is almost empty. And this I, I still really like, 
I sometimes take it with me when I'm going away or if I just want to do some light base going past. This Milky Way is actually one of my favorite shades to use as a highlighter. I wish that they would release it as a single because I don't take this palette just to have this one. But it is a really good palette. I don't though think <laughs> if I run out of Milky Way, now I haven't used it in a couple of months, but if I decided to use it up, maybe I should try that. I don't know if I want I do know that I don't going to buy this palette just because having Milky Way and Cigar again. And that it is a really good palette. And I think it looks cleaner for you than it is in real life. This is super dirty. I think this is the most used palette that I have in my collection. Still love it. It is really, really good. And I can recommend it as a face palette. It is amazing. The next palette... I still like when I think about the neutral palette that I really love I sometimes think about this but I haven't used this I don't think I've used it once this year and uh, I have mixed feelings about it <laughs> it's a soft glam palette from Anastasia this is my favorite Anastasia palette still I think I love the prism palette but I think I like the soft glam more it is it looks like this. This is a normal, neutral, warmer palette. I have used this kind of a lot. This is the palette that I've used the most from Anastasia Beverly Hills. But now, the latest half year. Maybe I can have used it like two times this year. No, I don't think that. But I really, really do like this one. But like I don't know. I have other palettes that I'd rather use like Side by Side by Nobla I'd rather use than this one. But it still really is a good palette and I can't like decluttering it. But maybe I should because I don't use it. But it's like something about this. This wasn't the first palette I tested out from Anastasia but I think it was the first one um, Prism and Subculture I have first and they are kind of dry they are really good in my opinion but they are kind of dry but then I bought this one and this is so freaking creamy the shimmers are amazing the mattes are amazing and I was like okay I now understand why people love Anastasia's eyeshadows but I had this kind of early in my makeup journey and I don't know I still really do like it but I don't use it and it's so I don't know this velour palette don't know who thought that was a good idea the next palette is from a brand that is no longer available and uh, I haven't used palettes from this brand I think since this stuff to exist <laughs> since the brand get out of business and I still really love some of the palettes and but it's just like I don't know should I do a video with them it is the Hasina 2 palette this was like the first green palette green and purple palette that I tested out that I really really liked. I have done some of my favorite looks with these greens and the black one. I'm not super thrilled about this purple but, but they are good. But this palette I like really discovered green and this this shade it is it has been one of my absolute favorite shades in my collection. I still like this palette. I really do and one part of me missed Blush Tribe because I thought they did really good palettes but I haven't used them since. I was in a big collab like Farewell or Goodbye Blush Tribe. I think that was the last time that I used something from Blush Tribe and that was a while ago. But I still really like this palette. And I don't know like should I do videos with the Blush Tribe palettes even though they're no longer available. I don't know. Do you want it? I know that a lot of you 
have palettes from Blush Tribe at home. Maybe I should try to dupe some of these. Maybe that is an idea. Because I still really like it. I haven't used it for such a long time. I actually used this one when I did the Goodbye Blush Tribe video. I still really, really like it. But it's... I, I don't know. Should I use it? Should I not? The next palette is a palette that I still consider as one of, of my favorites. I was blown away the first time I used this. I am blown away still every time I use it. And it's from Shroud. It's the Creepy Cute palette. It feels like I talk about this palette a lot. This is an amazing pastel palette. That looks like this. This is the best palette I have ever tried. If you want to try pastels, I definitely recommend this palette. It's amazing. These shades are so pigmented, so vibrant, and they are just amazing. And I've actually started to like the black one. In the beginning, like, I didn't even want to touch the black one. I used it sometimes and it's really, really black. But the pastel in this, they are amazing. And I still have the same feelings about this. This is still the best pastel palette I have in my collection. And I recommend it to everybody that want pastels. Because I haven't found any other pastel colors that are this good. I still love it. You can buy these as singles if you want to. And I don't know what more to say. Because I still use this from time to time. And I still love it as much as I did three years ago. And the last palette. This has had a really special place in my heart. Because it was one of my first colorful palettes. And if you have been with me for a while. I guess you know which palette I'm talking about. But I thought about this. Right before I started to record this video. I don't know. If I still like this palette. I don't know if I'm that super impressed with this brand anymore. And it is the Zulu palette by Yuga's Place. This, I know that a lot of people has this as their first like colorful palette, as their first Yuga's Place palette. And it is a really good palette. The brown shade though, I don't know what the hell is doing in this palette. And I wished for a red instead of a brown. I think this is still a good palette. Do I have better colorful palettes in my collection? Yes, I do. Has this a special place in my heart? I don't know anymore, actually. But I don't think I can decluttering it. I have had so much fun with this. I have tested so many, like, different colorful combos. I have really, like challenged myself when I used this because this was my first super colorful palette and this this palette brought me into like loving colorful makeup but I don't know if I'm going to use it anymore because I have so many other better palettes than this but it's something about this and the shimmers in this palette are so so good, like this green shimmer and this pink shimmer is really really nice. I don't know if you can see it, but it has like gold sheen to it. It is a really good palette. I still recommend this. Do they even have this? I don't know. Does Yuga's Place even sell this palette? Okay, I need to check this. Because Yuga's Place, if you didn't know, you did live in Europe. They before was available at Beauty Bay. They are not anymore. Yeah, it, it, it's still available. So I can recommend this palette, but it's other palettes that I recommend more. It's not a bad palette, but there is other colorful palettes that I recommend more than this. And maybe that is all I have to say about the Zulu palette. And that is actually all for this video. I hope that you liked it. And I think it's fun to see like how you change over time when it comes to eyeshadow palettes and makeup styles. I have tested so, so many a party car. <laughs> I don't even know if you can hear it. I've tested so many palettes the last three years so many different color combos. I have like challenged myself so much. But yeah. 
that was all. Please let me know if you want to see things with blush dry, but because then I will happily do it and just play with these palettes some more because I have kind of a lot of palette from Blush Tribe. So I really hope you like this video and I will do more throwback videos. Even if you don't want to see them, I want to do them. So maybe I will do, yeah, the next time I will do 2019's favorite eyeshadow palettes and we will see. I can't like even remember which palettes I talk about. We will see. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!